Lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we are going to recycle some PJs that I've got. I wanted some Christmas PJs, but I wanted them the way that I wanted them. Can I just say, while we're on the subject of PJs, how hard is it to find plain matching PJs? In fact, not even just plain matching PJs, but just plain PJs without any slogans on them, without anything on them, just blank PJs and then blank PJs that match. Oh my goodness, it is so, so difficult. Uh, so I've just raided my PJ box, which is huge, and I found some old PJs that actually could do with a bit of a spruce up. So you all know how much I love my sloths, so I've got one of my sloths here from my Design Bundles bundle. I will link to that in the description below. That was a mouthful. I've got my text, which is a child's year, and I've just come in and used my curve tool. And then I've got a star, and my star I'm going to duplicate, I don't know, like a million times, because I'm going to, there's stars on the bottom of the PJs and I'm going to cover the stars that are already existing with new glitter iron on stars just to kind of jazz it up a bit. And I think what I'll do is I'll just keep them all as one colour at the moment and then I'll just keep changing the layers. So I'll do like a matte of red and then I'll do a matte of maybe silver but I'll just keep them all as one colour so the matte, I'm just changing the matte, I'm not actually doing several mats of the same image. I hope that makes sense. So we can then go to make it. So you can see we've got our print and cut. We've got our stars. So our stars we're just going to leave like that and if I want them a different colour then I'll print all out in a red glitter, then I'll print all out in a silver glitter for example. I've got my text now, with my print and cut, I'm obviously going to do printable iron-on. Now, I am going to be using printable iron-on dark today. So we do not need to mirror it. You always want to make sure that you read the instructions, but normally with printable iron-on dark, you do not mirror it. I'm using my maker today, but of course you could use your Air or your Air 2. That's absolutely fine. We're going to send to printer as always. I'm going to send to my inkjet and I'm going to make sure my bleed's off. You can leave your bleed on, it's completely up to you. My personal preference is to have it off. Once it's printed, we're going to go to browse all materials. Come down to iron on and we're going to choose printable iron on dark. For my stars, I'm going to be using Glitter Iron On. This is currently in my favourites, but if you don't know how to find it, you're just going to go to Browse All Materials, you're going to go down to Iron On, and you're going to choose Glitter Iron On. And the same with Mat 3, I'm going to be using Glitter Iron On as well. So I just want to say I completely forgot to mirror my stars. I mean, my stars is not the end of the world because that's fine. Luckily, I've realised before I've come to cut my text, so I'm just going to edit my mat and I'm going to mirror it. We all know how terrible we can be at times and um, I'm no exception. I'm awful, awful for remembering to mirror. So, luckily I caught it in time. As I say, it's not the end of the world with the stars, but certainly with the text. You want to make sure if you're using the iron-on that obviously we are mirroring. I think because I'm using iron-on dark today and obviously you don't need to mirror that, I've just got my head in a spin and I've forgotten to obviously mirror my text. But... I remembered in time, so all is good.
So with iron on dark what we actually do is we come in and we just peel away. We're just going to heat up our garment just for about five seconds just to take away any moisture. We've got our iron on dark and we're just going to come in and place it where we're happy for it to be. Now I do like to put my Cricut protective heat sheet over at this point. If you haven't got one of these, you can use a Teflon sheet. Our easy press is set to 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds. And that's it, it's on there, it is fully adhered. So all I want to do to my top is just come in and add my glitter iron on. And I've got my easy press this time set to 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds. As always, we want to allow that to cool for about 10 seconds uh, before we start peeling it back. And all we're going to do is we're going to turn our top over. My easy press is set to 305 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. And we're just going to come in and heat the back of our garment. And what this does is it really seals the iron on. So it will really help it to remain adhered to your garment. So with the bottoms, you can see the, you know, I've got all these stars on there. And I wanted to tie it all in a little bit better. First of all, I'm just going to come up and heat up each area. Just again for about five seconds, just to take away any moisture. 